Hello again, my name is Jeff, and thank you for joining me on my latest restoration on die cast powder coat and restoration. Today we'll be doing something a little bit different. This is a Cam Toys tin plate lorry produced sometime in the 1950s, I believe. Right, let's have a little look at it now. It did come with its original box. There's uh, no loose or anything like that. It's just a cardboard box. Probably bought in Woolworths or something like that. Overall, it's not in bad condition. There's a little bit of scratching around the uh, top of the flatbed area. The chrome is also uh, rather faded. But uh, let's see what we can do to improve it. I'm now going to drill out the rivets that hold on the clockwork mechanism although I did have a little bit of a problem here as the rivets kept spinning as I was trying to drill. I managed to drill out two rivets that hold the cab area on. and the front part of the chrome grille is held on by a couple of tabs, just need unbending with a screwdriver. The chrome bumper section and chassis is rather corroded, which will need sorting out. And now just drilling out a couple of the last rivets holding the cab on. Which violently came apart. All the parts are together now and I managed to get the clockwork unit off by using some pliers just to hold the other end of the rivet uh, which, um, which managed to drill out okay. I've now sandblasted the main parts of the model And now just going over with a wire brush just to polish them up a little bit. I won't show you the whole process as it goes on quite a long time. Once that's done with the polished parts, the usual clean with acetone. Okay, now putting the parts into the oven for the usual bake to bake out any impurities in the metalwork. They go in there for about 10 minutes, 180 degrees. After baking them for the 10 minutes, another quick wipe over with some acetone before powder coating. Powder coating the chuck bed now in some electrostatic magic green. This is my new powder coating booth 
it's actually a spray booth, but it works fairly well. And the uh, dust does go into the filter, and there's a vent the other side outside, so it's better than doing it out in the rain as normal. Now time for the cab area, which will be electrostatic magic red. And finally the grill and chassis with some high chrome from electrostatic magic. Right, back from the oven and painted. I'm quite pleased with the results on this one. And now we have to re-rivet the parts back together. I also polished the mechanism for the clockwork system and now riveting that back onto the body. Now putting the wheels back on. There was a little bit of rubbing on the wheels. Um, they've got a pattern on them, so I'm not going to try and restore those. I'll leave them as original. Although I did coat them with some pledge polish, so they've given a little bit of gloss. Here's that music now, so a couple of minutes to go to the end. And there we go, all finished. And we'll put it back into its box again, the original box. Okay, let's have a look at what she used to look like. Not terribly bad condition. As I mentioned, there was a little bit of rust along the top of the truck bed area. The cab was a little bit uh, rusty on the front. The chrome was pretty bad on the grille and the chassis. Right, let's have a look at what she looks like now. electrostatic magic chrome has done its wonders on the grill the bed truck bed or flat bed doesn't look bad at all now that's come up beautiful and the cab area has come up very shiny as well well I hope you did enjoy this video thank you very much for watching please subscribe if you can and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye for now. Thank you.